SMIGs, Surface Movement Guidance and Control Systems, or in simpler terms, a way to move aircraft safely around the airfield in dense fog. Lights, markings, and signs all play a part, but it's a lot of specific procedures that make the SMIG system work. One can imagine the care that must be taken to land an aircraft in very foggy conditions. The same care must be applied once the aircraft is on the ground and moving to its gate. The FAA devises and executes the systems for aircraft takeoffs and landings, but the airport operator manages how the aircraft get to and from the gates or the runways safely in all conditions, dense fog included. Although it may not seem like it sometimes, Seattle only gets about 26 hours of dense fog annually. But the fog moves around, causing more occasions in and out of low visibility than that number of hours might indicate. Under conditions when the visibility is at or below 1,200 feet, SMIGS is initiated by the ramp tower and the system directs aircraft onto appropriate taxiways. Now the airport might consider low visibility a cloudy day with visibility under a mile. But SMIGS is not usually initiated until visibility is at about a quarter of a mile. With this extreme low visibility, a system of lights is used to control the flow of on-ground traffic eliminating pilot error and, therefore, reducing the chances for accidents. Lights can be controlled so that they can only be seen in one direction or the other, north flow or south flow. And special lighting systems, such as the control stop bar, keep aircraft from crossing in the paths of one another. But wait, there's more! During periods when SMIGS is in use, all non-essential tarmac activity is halted. One example is the delivery of food and products to in-terminal concessions. With less traffic on the tarmac during these more dangerous periods, the chances for accidents are naturally further reduced. If this all sounds simple, remember that it is a system and a procedure that has to be devised, constructed, maintained, and successfully and consistently delivered to be of such valuable use. This takes the work and attention of many, including the airlines, air traffic controllers, fire department, airport operations, maintenance, electricians, painters, and more. Together, they make it an extremely reliable system. And it's all done routinely and taken for granted. Now that's kind of cool.